Hey guys, today we are going to discuss about pour plate method. Now what happens is that first we add a specified amount of the diluted sample into the petri dish, right? And afterward we are going to add the, then we are going to add the agar media, right? So here, first of all, we will add the sample to the petri dish followed by the molten agar medium to the petri dish now we have both the sample and then the agar so now we will gently rotate the plates in a circular motion now why do we rotate these plates because we want to uniformly distribute the microorganisms into the plate right and followed by this we will further incubate these plates place at a specific temperature for a particular time duration right now when we talk about the advantages of this technique number one thing is that it is very easy to undertake you can easily perform it then number two thing that it is able to detect even the lower concentrations as compared to the spread plate method because of the larger volume of the sample being used for this method number three is that it requires no pre-drying of the agar surface why because you are pouring the sample first and then you are pouring the media so you do not need to pre-dry the agar surface number four is that the most common method for determining the total viable count is the pour plate method so it is the most common method this is also one of the greatest advantages of this method right moving on to the disadvantages so now when we talk about the disadvantages of this method the very first point is that preparation for the pour plate method is a little bit time consuming as compared to the other methods such as the streak plate method we do or we do the spread plate method so this method is a little bit more time consuming right another very important disadvantage is that loss of viability of heat sensitive organisms coming into contact with hot agar why because first we are going to pour the sample then we are going to pour the molten cooled agar media but still even if the temperature of the agar medium is like say 45 degree even then it is hot enough for few organisms which are heat sensitive so in that case these kind of organisms which are heat sensitive they lost their viability and hence they are unable to grow as a colony so this is one big disadvantage of this method and finally and finally that some colonies which are embedded they are you know much smaller than those which happen to be on the surface so if we talk about those embedded colonies it gets difficult to count them or difficult to take them into account right so these are the major disadvantages we face when we go for this pour plate method so uh, anyhow every method whether it is a streak plate or pour plate or spread plate all of the methods have their own advantages and disadvantage so depending upon the experiment you want to conduct you can choose uh, the kind of method you want to go for right so this is all about the advantages and disadvantages on the procedure of the pork plate method in the next video i'm going to cover about the spread plate method as well so stay tuned till then bye bye and don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section this is dr shuchita verma signing off